Hi, Cricket Junkies, it's Tracy. I wanted to share an album I made um, using the Mr. Benjamin tutorial again. It is pretty much the same um, layout as my last Mr. Benjamin album, the Christmas album. Um, this one is a wedding album. And the paper line that I use is from Michaels. It is the Blush Glam. Really nice paper pack. I think it's pretty old. I think it came out last year, maybe the year before. but. Um, I had it in my stash, so I decided to use it for um, a wedding for wedding gift for someone. And then I found stickers from Michaels, these stickers here, and then you'll see them throughout the book. And then I just used a few recollection flowers, and then this um, card came in the kit, and then some ribbon down the side. I kept it pretty simple, and then this is the spine, and this is the back. And this book is packed if you can see here <laughs> it's stuffed so I can't get anything else in here so I'm hoping she can get her pictures in here <laughs> so let me open it and this is what it looks like on the inside and this is a magnetic closure so you open this and then there's more room for pictures I tried to incorporate different sizes because I know with a wedding you do have different sizes of pictures and this is what it looks like now this paper here is not part of the um, blush glam pack it was from a another paper pack that I had um, so I just went ahead and used it and then these are basically just um, tags for your pictures and then this just closes this way and then that's magnetic closure now this um, wedding dress I this is from um, from my Cricut and I don't recall what cartridge it is. I'll have to post that. Maybe I'll put it in the link um, of this video when I'm done. But I just used that. I thought that was nice. And then here comes the bride. And then I put a sticker on here. And this is actually from the Michaels um, sticker pack that goes with this line as well. And you can put the date and the location of where your wedding is. So I try to um, incorporate each section of a wedding. Like this is for the bride. Here's her shoes. And then I put shoes on here. Um, I printed those from, or actually I cut them out on the Cricut. And then here's the dress, so she can put a picture of her dress. And then the hair, because you know that's a big thing. Um, getting ready. And then there, there's tags for your pictures here as well. Open this. Now here's a pocket. And with this pocket, here I used, um, I don't know if you can see that. Let me see. I used Martha Stewart's um, Heart Punch to make the pocket. And this book calls for six pockets, but I only used, I only put three in here because sometimes it, it, get, it got to be huge. So I said, you know what, I'll just do three to lighten the load. And then the back is just um, cardstock and she could put a picture on there as well. And then here's another tag. And that just slides under here. And you can put more pictures or you, know, you can put <coughs> cards that people gave you. So many different things you can do with these books. And then this one is a belly band. And then this opens. And this is for 5x7. And here the back is a 5x7. Pretty simple. Then here's your 4x6. And then although it says place stamp here and it's going um, landscape you can do portrait or landscape, it doesn't matter. I just put that on here so the person would know where to put the pictures. And then here's the ceremony. So this section is the ceremony. So let me open this. Here's the I do. And here's the maid of honor. Let me turn this a little bit. Maid of honor. And then best man. Just married. And then here's the ring. So I just made a tag and put the ring on there. And then you can, as you know, that's a big part of the wedding. <laughs> then here's more tags. So each pocket has um, room for four pictures, four by six pictures on the tags. Let me flip this open. And, and then here's another tag. 
and just slide that in there. And then here's a, another tag. Now this was part of the uh, paper line as well. I just cut it out. And then you can just slide a picture in under the little flap here. I thought that was nice. And then here's another one, the happy couple. Like I said, I, I didn't put a lot of pockets in here so that she can put pictures in. And you can do different sizes, 5 by 7 you can cut them down. Um, and then here's more space for 4 by 6 And then here's the reception. And here's the menu. The bouquet. And then the first dance. And then we have cheers. And here's another tag. I just stuck this tag in there. And these tags here, um, I make these with my envelope punch. And they're really easy. Just to give you extra space for pictures. And then, like I said, each one has enough um, has enough space for four, four pictures, four six by fours in each pocket. And then we turn this over. And then here's a, another pocket page with the heart. And then there's just paper on the back. And then here's another one. This is another one of the that came in the kit that said love. So you can just slide that under there. And then here's the cutting the cake. So I left this page blank so she can put her pictures here. And then you can put cake pictures on here. You have enough space for four by sixes. And then this page. I love this paper, so I just left it. I didn't uh, put a space for a picture. This is some really nice paper. And then here's a heart. Um, I had a few things left over from the stickers, so I kind of go through and, and see where I can use them. Um, this is some really, really nice paper. Again, here's more tags. And this is part of the paper too. It's really versatile. You can do a lot with this with this paper. And then this one. I think this is actually one of my favorite pages. And this, um, I left this blank for pictures for the bride and groom, and that's why I put the Mister and Mrs. And then here's another one, beautiful. This is part of the um, paper line. And then here's another tag. <coughs> More space for four by six. And then I left this one pretty much plain where you can just put your pictures in. And then this one here says you and me. I love this paper, and this is what it looks like. Isn't that nice paper? That's a nice combination. Space for pictures. And then here's my last uh, pocket page with the heart cut out. And then you have a space for a photo. And then the back is the paper. And then this was, um, I think these are 3 by 3s or 3 by 4s I'm not sure. But I just wanted to give, give a different option for different size pictures. And then here's your belly, belly band. <coughs> And then I just use this cut out from the paper line. And this book is thick. And then here is, this is more space for pictures. And I use, use this throughout the book. There, um, there's a tutorial for photo mats is what I followed um, to make some of these mats in the book. I, I really like the tutorial. It was real easy. And just slide that in there and then more space for four by sixes and then this is the last section last page I just put a sticker here and again I like this picture so I didn't cover it up so you can see it and then we have to have the kiss so put that on there and this was a different sticker these are like these epoxy stickers I like those I use those quite often and I think I got that from Hobby Lobby more space for pictures, pictures. Here's a sticker for beautiful, happily ever after. And here's another tag um, that I use with envelope punch. 
and then more tags here. So this book definitely will hold more than 120 pictures. Um, and then this is the last page here. And I just left it blank so you know she can put pictures of friends and family. This is friends. And then down here you can barely see it because it's pink on pink. I actually should have switched it and maybe had families over family over here and friends over here, but um, there was no taking it up, so you know how that is. But it still came out nice, so she can put uh, pictures of the wedding party and things like that. And flip this over, and then this was another uh, tag in the paper kit. And then here's space for a picture, and then on the back side, today I, and then you can journal. Um, top five things, you can journal as well. More space for four by sixes. And then this is the last page. So the last page I made a pocket page. And as you can see, I used the heart again. Now for this heart, let me tell you this, for the heart, I like the heart, um, but I had to back it with some black cardstock. And I used Mod Podge to strengthen it because I didn't think it would be strong enough to hold um, if you're sticking your... Um, uh, pictures in here. I didn't know how long it was going to last, so I made it. I reinforced it, and that's on all the pockets. And it actually came out pretty strong. And then here's another one of the photo mats, different sizes. In the back. And then that just fits in here. And then here's another one. Um, and this is part of the paper line. She can journal on this as well. This was my moment. And you open up, open this, and you have space for. 5 by 7s or you can put different sizes up to you and then on the back um, I wanted to break it up a little bit so I just made it for a uh, 4 by 6 and then that just fits in here well, like I said this book is pretty thick um, you know I I don't know how thick it's going to be when she starts putting all the pictures in but it was pretty easy putting it together just I think the hardest part is making the paper um, deciding what paper to use <clears throat> but it definitely will hold a lot of pictures and it's a perfect album um, Mr. Benjamin I think is a perfect album for a wedding anything that you want a lot of pictures and definitely weddings and birthday parties and things like that, Christmas albums, and it's and it's fairly quick to put together. And again, belly bands, and then you can you can mix and match your pages. You don't have to follow the tutorial 100% um, like I did. Like I can eliminate. You know, I put a pocket in the back instead of the flap like this one, and then that's what it looks like. And that just closes that way. So that's my album. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, leave comments. I love when you guys leave comments. I always try to um, reply to your comments. Um, and again, I will put the link to the Cricut cartridge that I used um, for the for this dress um, in the bottom in the description box. Okay. Thank you guys. Have a good day, and I will see you soon.